they give you this piece of very thin clear acrylic uh, to make the windshield it's quite a large piece and uh, this windshield just goes in the front here it goes in from the inside so I've cut it out using a template that was on the uh, instruction sheet and uh, I found some Tamiya uh, smoke I thinned that a bit and through the airbrush you can see I've tinted that a bit try and make it uh, show a little uh, darker there and I think something that's going to be out in the sun on the beach would have I would have tinted windows in it. Well, I'm back again I thought I better take a few shots of the uh, Surfite build before the body goes on the chassis and uh, a lot of stuff will disappear under the covers here I just put one coat so far I brushed one coat of future uh, floor finish on this uh, it was already pretty shiny to begin with and I'll probably put another coat on before uh, I finish it. I will get the body on there and give it another one or two coats of future. As you can see, I've got the uh, windshield in. It's slightly tinted. It's hard to to tell at the moment. I've got the inside done in blue. And uh, like I said in the uh, instructions, it's supposed to be black, but I couldn't see driving something around uh, driving around in something black on the beach in the hot sun. And I thought the blue the blue would really offset uh, with the orange and yellow really nicely. And here's the. Uh, Chassis, the interior tub is in. Oop. Just a second here, I have to reset my camera. And um, got the gauges and everything highlighted. The gear shifters put in there, just put some pearl white on that. On that. Uh, got the engine in, and the wheels, and all the suspension parts. There's so many little parts on this. I wanted to put bigger uh, wheels and tires on, but I couldn't. Uh, I had some bigger. Uh, wheels, but the rims weren't, wouldn't fit on them. It, they were too uh, too small for the tires, so I just went with the kit, uh, the kit wheels and tires. And the kit the, also comes with the uh, the tiki hut and some surfboards. There's three surfboards. One fits on the car here, and two lean up against the hut. Uh, I went online and I found some pictures of some surfboards, and I printed them out here. I got a Minions Paradise and a Surf uh, Fink and Endless Summer. I uh, just printed out on regular paper and I've uh, coated them with Mod Podge and then I'll uh, laminate those onto the onto the surfboards themselves and then uh, laminate that and clear it with uh, Mod Podge and uh, probably Future. I have to decide if uh, I want to probably want to paint the uh, surfboards first and the back side. So I was going to put one on each side but that might be a little too much. I'm going to just do the top side and just paint the uh, the back of the surfboard a matching color and uh, so a few other things printed off here to uh, add to the little uh, diorama or, or base uh, scene here so uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, see how this turns out and one other thing I just noticed uh, I don't want to forget uh, before I forget it I put the uh, license plates on it comes with this chrome surround here and the surfite license plate that goes on the back there's a couple of decals have to go on here as well one on the back and one on the front See, I've got the mirror and the windshield wiper on, but I also I made a uh, Rat Fink license plate on the front here. I just wanted to, it's not as obvious, so I just wanted to show that before I forgot. A little uh, reminder that this is uh, Ed Roth Rat Fink uh, related creation. Okay, I'm back again. I got another uh, bit of work done on the car here. I got the decals on. On the back there are a couple of red ones there on the, and some black ones on the front license plates on i put another coat of a uh, couple of coats of future just brushed on it and uh, still got a great shine looking good so that's pretty much done yesterday i made a start on the uh, base here got the uh, bottom done with some uh, tan and i just hand painted some of the work on the tiki hut got the, this notice up close here there's a little bug on his foot there look little bee or a fly or something so I painted that there's another one here on the towel I'll have to get to that later got the rocks painted up here and I'm going to start on the surfboards as you saw I had some printed off some uh, surfboard uh, decals here and uh, I've got the surfboards done up here I just what I did I put some light gray primer on them and then I was wondering what I should do to before I put these um, decals on there's not really a decal just printed on paper but I'm going to laminate that onto the board I took some Aztec uh, pearl white and airbrushed that on so to give it a bit of a shine that pearlescent shine there like a I guess a fiberglass surfboard would have and then I'll uh, decorate those up 
So uh, making a little bit of progress. Okay, back again, and I've laminated the pictures I, I copied offline on the uh, surfboards, uh, just with using Mod Podge on front and back of the surfboards, and letting that dry over top of the pearl white uh, paint I put on that, just to give it a bit of a, a little finer, nicer, shiny finish. And I've got the uh, roof of the, uh, the hut started. I just took some of this uh, craft paint uh, evergreen and uh, just a wet, quite a wet wash uh, over that to fill in the grooves with the green and leave a little bit of the white showing. I still have a bit of uh, a few more colors I want to put on there and I uh, haven't made any more progress yet with the, uh, the hut but it's, uh, it's coming along slowly but surely. I just have to figure out the colors I want to use to make it work here. Put that on there. So yeah, it's coming along. It's uh, fun to paint. It's going to be a nice little uh, diorama, I think, when we're all done. So thanks for following along and stay tuned for further updates. Well, I've been doing a lot of uh, washes and uh, dry brushing over the Tiki Hut here. got it done. I got the surfboards uh, laminated, my pictures on those. The rat surf uh, fink, rat fink on both sides, same thing, endless summer on there, both sides, and uh, the minion, beach minion surfer on both sides, that came out pretty good over the white pearl paint. Got the car all done up here, it's got two or three coats of future on it, and uh, it's ready to pop onto the body. I'll do some pictures here at the end, um, you can see all the detail there on the body. All the uh, engine and suspension and steering and so forth. I did the uh, interior with a metallic blue and I brushed off the seats a little bit, let some of the white show through. And uh, I got the roof here done for the for the hut. I did some uh, aqua blue and some green and a little bit of uh, yellow. Dry brushed over that. I got the bamboo highlighted on there and on the corners of the uh, tiki hut as well, tried to highlight the bamboo poles there. Got the tiki sign, there's a decal came with for this sign, but it's just black outline. I thought well, there's, there's enough relief on there, I just painted it, hand painted it, and the, and the little head, tiki head. So uh, it's got a, a couple of coats of mop and shine on it, just so it's a dull finish. And I've gone over the, the hut here with um, light brown, like a golden brown, then a dark brown, and black uh, washes there to uh, highlight the, the details on that and darken it up a little bit. So it's just a matter of putting it together now and uh, creating a little a diorama. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully this will turn out the way I have expected.